I'm Bob Young, here with Nuts About Nets to answer the question, what is channel arbitration? In the example on the board, we've got two wireless access points. So we'll just call them WAP1 and WAP2. And these two wireless access points, we may have to put on the same channel sometimes. I'll explain the, the reason for that. Let's say you have a school with two access points in every classroom in order to be able to accommodate 25, 30 students per class. So now, because of the number of access points in the school, close to each other through the walls and up the floor above and the floor below, we run out of channels, so we can't split the channels all the time. This is where the beauty of channel arbitration comes in. Channel arbitration is built into the 802.11 standard, and when you know how to use it, it will make your network designs better. In this classroom example with 30 students and two wireless access points, we're going to put both access points on channel one. By putting both access points on channel one, you may think that we're creating interference, but we're not because of the arbitration that's built into the 802.11 system. When this access point transmits, this access point will be quiet. But we have built into the process intervals where an access point has to go silent. So when this access point goes silent, WAP number two, access point number two, will insert a signal that says, I'm going to transmit for a while now. So this one, WAP two will transmit and WAP one will be silent. The end result is we're sharing the time, but we're also sharing the frequency. Channel arbitration is what makes this possible. Because we're doing channel arbitration, WAP1, WAP2, WAP1, WAP2, there is no interference and there is no lost data. This is actually more effective than putting them on two different channels that overlap and cause interference with each other. When you design a system that uses a lot of access points, here's what you're gonna do. In summary, make sure that the access points that are close together share the same channel so you can take advantage of 802.11 channel arbitration. Thanks so much for watching the video. We've got some other videos with helpful information about specific wireless performance issues. I hope you'll check them out.